rivers, by sea, by land, and by air, the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, so God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed, and the glorious lady, the pale photos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Christ is risen. Truly he is risen. Run to thee our new all glory, honor and worship to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Thank you. 
Sing my soul out of prison that I may praise thy name. Our righteous shall wait for me until thou recompense me. Out of the depths of my cry to thee, O Lord, O Lord, hear my voice. With thy noble cross, O Christ, thou hast put the devil to shame. And with thy resurrection, thou hast annihilated the thorn of death. Thou hast saved us too from the gates of death. Wherefore do we glorify thee, O only begotten one? Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication, the bestower of resurrection to mankind has verily led like a lamb to the slaughter. Therefore the captains of Hades were terrified by him, and his portals of agony were lifted. For Christ the King of glory hath entered it, saying to those in bonds, Come ye out, and to those in darkness be manifest. And thou, Lord, to mark the knees, O Lord, who shall stand, for I think there is forgiveness. The wonder is there, the very great, for the creator of unseen creatures has suffered in the flesh for its love of mankind. And the deathless one hath risen up. Come ye therefore, O tribes of the nations, let us bow down to him in worship, for by his compassion have we been liberated from disobedience and have learned how to praise the one God in three persons. Because of thy name have I waited for thee, O Lord. My soul hath waited upon thy word, my soul hath hoped in the Lord. O life that is not apprehended by eventide, we offer the evening worship, for thou hast risen on the world at the completeness of time as of now mirror, and thou didst descend to Hades, and dissolve the darkness therein. Revealing to the nation, the nations, the light of the resurrection. Wherefore, Lord, giver of life, glory be to thee. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch with Israel, trust in the Lord. As one fight in the martyr town, trophy bearer in martyr George, so this day we gather to chant the hymns of praise. For thou hast finished the course and hast invincibly kept the faith, and from God thou hast received thy great victories, crowns of light, and entreat the Lord to deliver from perils and corruption them that faithfully do honor. I never been for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is abundant redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. With unflinching and steadfast mind, thou is go of thy own accord, fear the sons of lion to stride and martyr down, while disregarding my body as a thing incorruptible. Thou didst wisely turn thy care to that precious immortal soul, and by many kinds of sore torments was thou a safe and pure gold sevenfold as in a furnace. O great and glorious martyr George, praise the Lord, all ye nations, praise him, all ye people. As the Savior will suffer, thou didst willingly imitate. His death by thine own death and now in majesty. With him thou reignest into with the most radiant purple robe, brought of thine own sacred blood, and adorned with the scepter of thy martyric deeds, and the crown of thy triumphs, soft and handsy unto ages everlasting. O thou, O Lord, and great martyr George. For his mercy is great toward us, and the truth of the Lord endure it forever. With the breastplate of ardent faith, with the shield of resplendent grace, with the mighty spear of the cross girdle of gold, thou didst prove unto thine enemies to be all invincible, as a godlike prince in 
more about his vanquish the demon strips and just dance for joy with the angels and caring for the faithful how to swallow and preserve them when they invoke the martyr George. Bye. Uh -huh.
are gathered together, and princes shall be gathered out of them. Who will declare these things among them? Or who will declare to you things from the beginning? Let them bring forth their witnesses and be justified, and let them hear and declare the truth. Be my witnesses, and I too am a witness, saith the Lord God, and my servant whom I have chosen, that he may know and believe me, and understand that I am. Before me there is no other God, and after me there shall be none. I am God, and beside me there is no Savior. I have declared and have saved. I have reproached, and there is no strange God among you. Ye are my witnesses, and I am a witness, saith the Lord God. Even from the beginning I am, and there is none that can deliver out of my hands. I will work, and who shall turn it back? Thus saith the Lord God, that redeemeth you, O Holy One of Israel. Wisdom. The reading is from the wisdom of Solomon. Let us be attentive. <clears throat> the souls of the righteous are in the hands of God, and they, there shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise they seem to die, and their departure is taken for misery. And they're going from us to be utter destruction, for they are in peace. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. For God proved them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace hath he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. And in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. They shall judge nations and have dominion over peoples. And their Lord shall reign unto the ages. And they, and they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him, for grace and mercy in his saints, and visitation among his elect. Wisdom. The reading is from the wisdom of Solomon. Let us be attentive. The righteous live forever, and the reward is in the Lord, and the care of them is with the Most High. Therefore they shall receive the kingdom of majesty and the crown of kindness from the Lord's hand. For with his right hand shall he cover them, and with his arm shall he protect them. He shall take to him his jealousy for complete armor, and make creation his weapon. 
for the for the for the warding off of his enemies. He shall put on righteousness as a breastplate and true judgment instead of helmet. He shall take holiness for an invincible shield. With his severe wrath shall he sharpen his sword. And the Lord shall fight with him against the unwise. And the world shall fight with him against the unwise. Then shall the great aiming thunderbolts go abroad, and from the clouds, as from a well-drawn bow, shall they fly to the mark. As from a stone bow shall hailstones full of wrath be cast forth, and the water of the sea shall rage indignantly against them. The flood shall cruelly drown them. Yea, a mighty wind shall stand up against them, like a storm shall blow, and like a storm shall blow them away. Thus iniquity shall lay waste to the whole earth and ill dealings shall overthrow the thrones of the mighty. Hear therefore, O you kings, and understand. Learn, ye that be judges of the ends of the earth. Give ear, ye that rule a multitude, and launch yourselves in throngs of nations. For the power is given, given you from the Lord, and sovereignty from the Most High. Let us with our full soul and with our whole mind. Let us sing, O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Again, we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Again, we pray for our Father and Metropolitan Joseph. Again, we pray for our brethren, the priests here amongst deacons, here deacons and monastics, and all our brotherhood in Christ. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon, and forgiveness of sins for the servants of God, the Hammer of Damascene, Mitchell, Linda, Margaret, Anna, and the child in her womb, the priest Isaac and children, the archpriest Stephen, the infant Darius, Maximus, and Emily, the Kudimanessa Anthony, the priest Lawrence, the catechumen Michael, the catechumen Michael, the reader Philip, and, and for all Orthodox Christians out to worship who live and dwell in this community. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for those, the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy church and all, and for the servants of God, Catherine, Hrambo, Spiridon, and all our fathers, and brethren, the Orthodox part of this life before us, who here and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do the works in this holy and all venerable temple, those who serve and those who sing. And for all the people here present, we await thy great and rich mercy. Christ is risen. Truly he is risen. For thou art a merciful God and lovest mankind. 
and unto thee we ascribe glory through the Father, to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, unto ages of ages. Lord, to keep us just keeping that sin. Bless our power, Lord, the God of our fathers, and praise his Lord, rise in thy name forever. Let thy mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on thee. Bless our power, Lord, teach us thy statutes. Bless our power, Master, make us understand thy statutes. Bless our power, Holy One, enlighten me thy statutes. Thy mercy, O Lord, endure forever. O despise not the words of thy hands, to be beloved in worship, to be beloved in praise, to be beloved in glory, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and as we to the way of Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Have mercy. Help us save us, have mercy on us. And keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. And so, Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask the Lord. And so, Lord. And forgiveness of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. All things good and profitable for our souls and to peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord a Christian ending to our life blameless, blameless and peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask the Lord calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed. And the glorious lady that thou opposed, and ever virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For thou art a good God and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe the glory to the Father, to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now endeavor unto ages of ages. Bow your heads unto the Lord. Lord. Lord our God, who did bow the heavens and come down for the salvation of mankind, look upon thy servants and thy inheritance to run to thee the fearful judge. We have loved us mankind of thy servants bow their heads and submissively incline their necks away, not help from men, but entreating thy mercy and looking confidently for thy salvation. Guide them on our Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and in the approaching night, from every fall, from all the first powers of the devil, from vain thoughts and from evil imagination. Bless and glorify be the might of thy kingdom, of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. My Savior, who did become incarnate without leaving heaven, we do be magnified with the voices of song. For thou didst accept the cross and death for the sake of our human race. 
For thou art the Lord, the lover of mankind, thou didst demolish the gates of Hades, rising on the third day and saving our souls. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let them that hate him flee from before his face. Today a sacred pole of sky is revealed to us. Pascha new and holy, Pascha mystical. Pascha alemo, Pascha which is Christ the Redeemer. Pascha most great, Pascha most pure, Pascha the faithful, Pascha which opens the gates of heaven for us, Pascha which sanctifies the faithful. As smoke vanishes, so let them vanish, as wax melts before the fire. Come from that scene, O women, bearers of good news, and say to Zion, Receive from us the good news of Christ's resurrection. Exalt and be glad, O Jerusalem. See Christ the King coming from the tomb as a bridegroom in procession. So let sinners perish at the presence of God, and let the righteous be glad. The mother-bearing women early in the morning came to the tomb of the giver of life. They found an angel sitting on the stone who cried out to them, saying, Why do you seek the living among the dead? Why mourn the incorruptible corruption? Go and announce to his disciples. This is the day which the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad therein. Pascha of beauty, Pascha of the Lord. O venerable Pascha, today has shined on us. O Pascha, on which let us embrace each other. It is the day of resurrection. 